Hi everyone. So we have new colors. <laughs> Super excited. TLP just came out with seven new colors and I'm going to show them to you today. So our first color I'm going to share is Violet Rain. Absolutely gorgeous purple color. I just love, 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 love this. The next color is Deja Vu. This is a nice deep pink, uh, pink, purpley pink. Super pretty. I love bubbles in that one. This is Bellini. This is a beautiful um, peachy gold color. I can't wait to try it with the Violet Rain. This one is Rose. A simple, beautiful rose pearl. And then we have Waterfall, Prey Night, and Honeycomb. So I'm going to mix these up for you. Let's get my Josania and my Bloom PM that I already have mixed. Alright, so let's do Prey Night first because I just love this. I'm not really a green girl, but I like odd shades of green. Like, I don't like green green. But I do like an olive green, a sage green, a lemon lime green. <laughs> Just some that I really like. So let's do a scoop of this. Get ourselves a container. Put that off the edge. I don't like to waste any So normally you want to wear a mask when you're doing this, but because of video purposes, I'm not. So I'm going to just add a little bit of Josanya. That might have been just a little bit too much, but that's okay. I can tell I already love this color. And there goes my vent. <laughs> Sorry about the background noise, but... We're not here for that anyway. We're here to see the beautiful colors. Yep, this is gonna be one of my faves. Look at that. So pretty. Reminds me of my juniper. Pretty close. <laughs> Okay, let's add some pouring medium in there. I keep mine pre-mixed, although I've, lately I have been using less and less Josania in my mix because I use it here. So I usually have a bottle that's mixed up with the Josania for two paints, and then I have one that's without for these. Love it. Mm -hmm. I can see the gold shift to it. You guys can't see it on camera because it looks more minty to you, more pearl. But it definitely has a gold shimmer to it. Super, super pretty. Okay. Now let's do honeycomb. This will be between your mango and lemon sorbet or even submarine. Definitely different than all those. We always like those next shade to add to a collection. I like a lot of pigment in my pouring medium. Let's see my powder flying. Standing back, my vent's taking it away. A little bit. 
I'm anxious to see how this is mixed up. So now if you're not using these for blooming, what you'll do is disperse this just like this. Then you'll add your heavy gloss gel. And then you can add your pouring medium to that. I don't use Floetrol with the Piggies. I don't like it with the Piggies. So I just use Liquitex pouring medium and gloss gel. making these full because we want them to last. When you get new colors, you paint a lot with them. Super pretty. Love it. I can see a little bit of orange in there and gold. the yellow base. That's really pretty. On camera it looks lighter. It really is just a little bit darker. Let's see where that compares to um, with our Persian Autumn Yellow. Just so you can base it off of that. That's pretty close. So this would be your definite shimmering bloom paint. So if you're familiar with my paint line, this will give you an idea of what color it is. I don't know if I have one that matches waterfall. <laughs> Super pretty. Okay. Let's do waterfall. This one they did for Karen from Waterfall Acrylics. Blue girl. Alright, let's get a scoop of that one. Well, that was a stingy scoop, wasn't it? Not too much. Okay, a little bit. So I'm going to do a couple of videos with these different colors so you can see how they work together and work with other paints or other pigments. Super pretty. Very shiny. Whoops, I almost put more Josani in there. Don't want to do that. Give three good squirts. Pretty. Of course, the pouring medium does take that shine down, but it's going to dry beautiful just like it did when it was in the Josanya. Awesome. Love it. Let's just do a quick tile and then you can see the videos um, later this week. Well, 
I'll use a white cell activator too, because I want to put that, um, I want to use the Violet Rain, the Bellini, and the Prey Knight on a tile. And I think I'll throw some velvet in there as well. I am a velvet girl. I love this stuff. One that I always have more than one of. <laughs> well, any of the interference ones I do. I love them. It's like I always put one in to... Gloves on. And I think I'll do an ornament since they're sitting right here. So that way we can see all the color. Okay, let me grab my white. I'll be right back. Okay, so my other mat was dirty. <laughs> so while that's being cleaned, we'll use this one. Still from Fluid Art Co. Their silicone mats are amazing. Okay, so let's get going. Maybe we'll do a couple with the different colors. Alright, so the first one we're going to do, this is an arabesque tile from Lowe's. You can get at the hardware store. They come in a sheet. Just break them apart off the plastic backing. Alright. So, I want to do... don't want to lose the violet rain. So let's put the uh, Bellini down first. Then we're going to do, I'm going to put the violet on top of, or the velvet on top of that. Normally I put it on the dark color, but it still shows up. All right, Prey Night. These are fresh mix, so they're a little on the thin side. I like them a little bit thicker, but that's okay. And then we'll do the Violet Rain. See my velvet already. I am gonna use a white cell activator. for a few minutes. I'm going to pause my side of the video, but for you it'll just be a couple of seconds. Okay, so with white select reader, I never get that instant gratification. <laughs> but I'm going to spin this out and set it aside, and when I'm done with these, I'll bring them back just to show you how they change. So let's spin this one out. because it always opens up after I take it to the drying rack. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh my goodness, that is a beautiful color combo. All right, one little one, just to get that edge. Mm -hmm. Super pretty. This is definitely gonna change and open. Look how that opened up already. 
it's like moving that white cell activator and my white is not that thick so I don't understand why I don't get that in your face cells like I do with the black but I know the titanium is much heavy, heavier in the white and it takes time for that to go down and sink down to allow the colors to come up but when you're when you're blooming you want to see it right away right <laughs> all right so let me move this one out and we'll do another one be right back okay let's try another one so for this one I'm going to add rose with that violet rain I'm looking over and make sure I'm not missing any colors I want to get <laughs> I remember I have seven not eight okay let's get our white down it's very quiet because it's late and the pups are in bed violet on top this time. So I'm going to start with the rose. Nice happy amount. Then let's put a little deja vu in there. Since it's such a bright purpley pink, I think it will go well with the violet rain. Then we'll put our velvet, because, you know, that's my color, I love it. I like Twinkle, and I like Macaw, <laughs> and Glitzen, I like them all. Okay, and then our Violet Rain. Let me just stick that a little bit. Get her back in the middle. My table's a little unlevel. I really think it's my turntable. I did order a new one, I just haven't brought it out here yet. Okay. Let's blow this. Did this off camera on the last one. Sometimes it takes me longer to find where I want to bring stuff up. All right, now I'm gonna pause you. Let's let it set for a few minutes. The first one I did is already changed, so let's get this one done, and we'll do two more quick ones, and then we'll bring them all back. Be right back. Okay, so it did open up pretty well. Let's spin it. And then one more little one. I'm going to actually leave that deja vu there. It's really pretty. So as you can see, I really don't blow the color off. I try to skip over it. Because if I blew the color off, you would not see these colors here. And everything showed up. So I do have the rose and the deja vu and of course the violet rain and the spin-off is absolutely gorgeous. I will pull some cabs off of that for sure. And I make magnets out of them. So let's take this one off and we'll do a couple more. Alright, let's do waterfall this time. We are going to do it with the Prey Night. I like a good dose of paint on there to make sure all my edges are getting covered. I do scrape this up and reuse it on ornaments or box tops because that usually gets spun off anyway. Okay. 
Hmm. Let's put honeycomb down first. A little chunky there. Fresh mixed. Then we're going to do Pray Night. those three. I'm not going to use an interference this time. Let's try that. all over the place with my puffs because I don't want to take the risk of bringing the white up so I kind of just move it around and let it let it do its thing let's let it set and I'll be right back okay I did poof that middle one more time <laughs> I should have left it alone it probably would have popped up on its own let's spin it I do like these three colors together. I absolutely love that honeycomb. That is gorgeous with that prey night. Mm. Love, love. One more little one. Just to get those edges and make sure they're covered. Everything looks good. The spin-offs on these ornaments are insane. The snowflakes that I do, I just want to let it dry on the mat. Because <laughs> they're just so pretty. Alright, let's pop this one up. Ooh, almost dropped her. Super pretty. Alright, let me set this aside. And we'll do the last one. Okay, let's do our last one. So these biggies release on December 2nd. So make sure you are ready with the colors that you want to order. <laughs> it's so hard to resist, isn't it? They're just all so beautiful. Oh, Shelly does an awesome job developing the colors for us all to use and I'm so happy that two of those are close to my Raj Posse paints so I don't have to mix those all the time all right I want to play with the deja vu again um, so I'm gonna do ooh, I want to do the deja vu on top even though it's not sparkly I still want to try it on top so let's do the rose first. We're going to go kind of pretty in pink here. Then we'll do the Bellini. And then the Deja Vu. Deja Vu is so pretty. I love a purple red and this is just gorgeous. Okay. Light cell activator. So you'll be seeing more videos with these colors. I'm using a black cell activator as well. 
and box tops. Because <laughs> I love my box tops. And so does everybody else. already loving this one. I already know what it's going to look like. <laughs> it's going to be so pretty. That Bellini in there with that rose is just gorgeous. telling me to go there so all right I'm gonna let that one sit before we spin it and I'll be right back all right so I'm gonna I'm not gonna let it sit anymore because I just want to show you this look at those they're so pretty all right let's spin it it'll have time to open up while it's on the uh, cup to dry but I want to show these to you before they're dry so you can see the shine. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, look at that. You know what? Before I spin it again, I want to grab that. Because otherwise, we may get some interference going on and I won't be able to get it. Yay. Yay. One more little spin. Sometimes when you spin and then you stop and you spin again, it gets a ridge in it and you can't grab it. So, see how that got wonky there? And that got a ridge on it. All right, let me pull this one up. Show it to you up close. And then, I'll bring you back in about five minutes, 10 minutes. So you can see how they are before they go to dry. Super pretty. See you in a minute. Okay, y'all, I'm back. <laughs> I'm so happy with these. I really am. So this was the first ornament that we did. I was worried about that spot, but you know what? It's not bad. It looks okay. I'm not too worried about it now. It is filling in. It's going to dry different. It's going to be super shiny. The white may sink a little bit more. I'm not too worried about it. This was number two. Oh, I'm sorry. The colors on this were Violet Rain, Prey Night, and Bellini. So this ornament is Violet Rain, Deja Vu, and Rose. Super pretty. This was the third ornament we did. This is Waterfall, Honeycomb, and Prey Night. And then this last one is Rose, Bellini, and Deja Vu. All super pretty. I love them all. <laughs> it's a nice little blend of ornaments these ones I can sell as singles and uh, I want to thank Fluid Art Co for sharing the piggies with us um, you can get anything you need for blooming on fluid-art.co these will release December 2nd probably later on the day for us on the East Coast but, um, so we have seven new colors. I know I already showed you them in the beginning. This is kind of a long video, but I really want to show you how you can use all these new colors intermixing to make four different color palettes. I love dealing with color palettes. I don't like to add other paint. I like to use strictly the TLPs. Um, I just think I get a better result when I don't put the two paints in. 
but sometimes I'll throw in a Posh Posse paint just to bring a shine or a contrast. But this collection right here that's coming out December 2nd is, it has its own contrast. So watch for them guys, make sure you get them, put them on your Christmas wish list, tell the hubby, tell the wife, <laughs> tell the kids, tell the great kids, heck, tell your dogs. <laughs> Tell them you want them for Christmas. But yeah, this is a definite uh, must-have for all seven. I would get all seven. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. Fluidart.co, don't forget. Um, and I will see you guys on the next one with some more of these color palettes. Bye now.